positive aspect to take away from it. And there's not many, but here's one. Uh, Rob Thompson finally did something with Nick Cassianos. Finally. And if there is one great failure that Rob Thompson has had as the Philly skipper so far, interim or not, it's not getting or at least attempting to get Nick Castellanos going. Now, is it all Rob Thompson? No, of course. But as a manager, I think he's waited way too long to bump Nick Castellanos out of the three hole in this lineup, especially after Bryce Harper went down. Like you need to shake things up a little bit, whether that's a day off whether that's two days off and watching the team play and not being a part of it, maybe to get his mind right somehow magically, you need to do something in order to get him going. Rob Thompson has not done that. Now, is it up to Rob Thompson wholeheartedly, fully? No, of course, up to the player to perform. But as the manager, as the guy making the lineup card, you, you got to think, all right, maybe I should have dropped him down to the order uh, a couple of weeks ago, maybe a month ago. Maybe I should have taken more opportunity to to try to shake things up and get things going right in his head and unfortunately that's not the case it's not it's not how it went down so here we are rob thompson after a little uh kerfluffle with the media between nick castellanos and jim salisbury of nbc sports philadelphia he finally bumps him down in the lineup and nick castellanos still hears the booze uh when it comes to nick castellanos i i don't know what he could do at this point i i would love to see him flip that switch and start crushing baseballs and be a guy to help carry this team and be a guy to come up with some clutch hits. And it doesn't seem like that's going to be the case as he went one for 13 over the weekend, including his only hit, which was yesterday uh, when he was batting out of the five hole. This has gone on for way too long. And he in no way, shape or form looks like a guy that's a hundred million dollar five-year deal. He in no way, shape or form looks like a guy who was worth going over to luxury taxes. We have uh, alluded to so many times on this show saying that John Middleton looked at the Cassianos and said he's the one guy. He's the one guy the Phillies were willing to go over the luxury tax for. And so far he has not lived up to that uh, hype. Saturday night, everything boiled over. Now there's two cuts of this that we're going to play for you. One is what was originally put out, Jamie Apodi. The other is the extended version that Jamie Apodi of uh, 6 ABC put out there later on for full context. Uh, afterwards, they explained, uh, and I saw this on Crossing Broad as well. Kevin Kincaid wrote a great article on CrossingBroad.com about this whole back and forth and how the, the, the media people weighed in on this. But Matt Gelb of the, uh, uh, of, uh, the Athletic and Jamie Pony at 6ABC, we're going back and forth, where Gelb flat out said something that I, and I like Matt Gelb, I think he does a great job. This is something that I don't think he should have done in terms of calling another reporter a disgrace. Maybe you allude to, if you think the act of putting it out is disgraceful, if you think editing a clip is disgraceful without saying that it's edited, that's disgraceful. Fine. But calling somebody else a disgrace is way over the line and totally unnecessary. Um, uh, so going back and watching both clips, and I want you guys to see what most people reacted to in case you haven't seen it yet. And then I want you to see the, the fuller context of what was edited out in the middle to give you as much information as possible so you can make your own judgment. Let me say this again. I hate talking about media fights. I hate talking about all of that. I'd rather talk about the games. But being that the Phillies are really terrible, I don't really want to talk about them either. And, and, and here's the other thing. Uh, John Varcher is going to be joining us from Bell of the Bird uh, podcast to talk to us about the Eagles. So we're going to talk to uh, some football as the Eagles kick off their training camp tomorrow, Tuesday. 